Good morning, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new vlog. I have started this intro, I kid you not, 10 times because I just can't find the words this morning. But hello. Uh, see, I'm just so out of it today. But we're doing a little bit of an eye patch moment, a little bit of a self care moment this morning because I want to have a pretty productive day at home. I feel like as an introvert, in a homebody, I love having a house that we have ongoing home projects in because I can just get shit done, feel productive, but I don't have to leave my house. It's really the best case scenario and I can't even leave the house really anyways besides like go to the gym or anything close by because Matt has my car. He returned his rental at the end of the week because he had it for a full week. He thought his car was going to be ready. It's not. And so we were like, we'll just make do with one car until his car's ready. So here we are. We're going to have a really nice productive day at home, but also, you know, you guys know me, balance it with taking care of ourselves, doing things that we enjoy. Ugh, life is all about finding that balance. So I have a lot I want to get done today because I didn't really do any of it this weekend. The weather was awful here. It rained from like Friday afternoon to Sunday nights straight. And listen, I love a rainy day, okay? I will take any excuse for a rainy day to sit and read a book and just like cozy up. But I don't love like a rainy three days straight. Like I need a bit of a break. And also with the dogs being so high energy, it kind of just starts to drive everyone crazy after a day because it wasn't even like we got like little pockets of breaks. It just rained straight for two and a half days. So the rain has stopped, which is great. But now it's really crazy windy outside. I've decided today is the day that I learned to be a handy gal. I just want to gain confidence in terms of doing stuff around the house as well. Like I obviously like to paint, but that's like my extent of knowledge. I feel like I just rely on Matt to like put up things like curtains and floating shelves that like I could learn to do myself. And this weekend was a good example of that because Matt was demoing the bathroom because we need to get that ready for when the contractors come and just got it. It's like sitting around waiting for Matt to be done to put the curtains up. But then obviously after like four or five hours of demo, he was exhausted and I wasn't going to ask him to put the curtains up. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to learn to do it myself. It can't be that hard. Uh, we're going to figure it out. We've got a drill. We've got a level. We've got a laser. We're going to figure it out. So we're going to do that today together and just learn. Maybe this is your sign. If you wanted to become a little handier around your house, Maybe, you know, put up a picture frame. Like it took me a long time to find the confidence to learn to put up, put up a picture frame. I just wanna be a handy gal today, honestly, and learn how to do that. Kind of just see where the day takes us. I feel like I have two kinds of productive days. I have the productive day where I just give myself like three tasks that I like absolutely need to get done and that's it. And then I have days like today where I made a really long to-do list for the whole week because it's the beginning of the week and I really enjoy doing that. And I'm going to just pick and choose a few things off of that list. So kind of depends on the day if I like have like specific things I need to get done or I could just pick and choose what I'm in the mood for. And that's the kind of day we're having today. The goal for this video is hang up the curtain. If that goes well and we're feeling very confident in our abilities, we might try and hang up floating shelves as well. Um, I need to swatch paint in my office. I got some like off white white paint samples because my office is yellow right now. And one thing I've realized with the Sony is a lot of our walls are like a warm white, but it pulls the yellow from the walls. And so it's pretty hard to film around. So I need to be a bit more strategic and maybe go for like a white gray or a cooler tone white. So I want to swatch that in my office. I have some curtains coming from my office today that I just want to like hang up and choose. I think I've got two different colors. Uh, I'd love to start painting the bathroom vanity. That might be a little ambitious because I do have some work to get done today, but a girl can dream. And if not, I'll share the color with you guys and we can maybe do that later this week. I have a ton of laundry to put away and honestly just kind of like, you know, getting the house cleaned up and in order for the week. So I'm really excited to spend today with you guys. I'm having a tea right now because I went to take the garbage out and it was so chilly that I need something to warm up, but I've already had my first coffee i think i'm gonna have to refresh my hair too we're on like third day waves i think she might need a little fixing a little fixing up but we'll see i feel like i don't know if anyone can relate with like wavy or curly hair but i love wearing my hair natural once like spring summer comes i think it's because i'm more confident because i'm tan but in the winter when i'm feeling like the winter uglies i do not want to keep my hair natural like i'm like curl it or straighten it i need that extra like confidence but come like well it's not really spring right now i thought it was gonna be spring but not yet i love wearing my hair natural because i feel like i have a tan i feel a little bit more confident so anyways that's that but i'm really proud of myself because i did get my workouts in this weekend and so you know the weekends especially when it's gloomy like this 
which is the whole point of me starting this 60 day challenge was that I have the time to go and I really did not want to. I think yesterday I waited till like 6.30 to go, but I still went and I'm really proud of myself. So breakfast, probably just changed into some leggings like to be comfy when I'm doing stuff around the house. And I kind of want to start the day with the curtain rod. But then also, is that a bad or a good idea? Like I'm either setting myself up for failure or I'm setting myself up for success and I'm going to feel empowered. I'm not sure yet, but let's eat some breakfast and get ready first. I honestly just ordered the cheapest curtain rod from Ikea. Like I just don't really care what my curtain rods look like. And these are my favorite curtains. These are the ones we have in the bedroom. I always get asked pretty much. Actually, I think all of our curtains are from Ikea. Honestly, they're just, they're great quality for the price. Even better than Amazon. I feel like I've ordered so many Amazon ones that the quality just is not there. At least Amazon Canada. So I really love them. But these are the ones we have in our bedroom. They're like a... They're not sheer, as you can see, they're like light filtering, but they're like a really pretty white. I think that having curtains here will just add to this wall because it's just so empty. And I'm sure we'll do some art down the line, but because this window is off center, I just feel like it might, I don't know, add something to the space. And because we have that weird door over there, which I kind of want to paint this door the same color as I painted the, as this wall. I think that could be nice. The same color I painted the one going to the basement. Yesterday at Home Depot, I just picked up some floating shelves because Ikea was gonna cost us $90 to ship to us. And these were a really good price. I think they were $40 each at Home Depot. They're just white ones, but uh, I don't like when shelves have like the brackets on them. I prefer when they're like actually floating. So I went with these ones. They're a little bit more expensive, but that's okay. Along with the help of you guys, we ended up deciding to do some floating shelves on this wall. I like the hutch. I don't think it's going to stay here permanently to be just quite honest with you guys. Um, I will definitely find another use for it. I love it. Maybe it'll go in the sunroom or something for just storage for like gardening supplies. I mean, we did pay like not even a hundred dollars for it, but I don't know if I like, I like it in here for now, but I think ultimately the goal is to do a whole like wall of built-ins here just because we need the storage especially with like the size of our kitchen and stuff so that's the goal down the line is to do maybe even the ones that we have in the formal sitting room that Vesta cabinet to do them all along the wall here we have tons of room and we can also flip the table this way if we need to that it'll probably look a little bit crammed right now to have floating shelves but this wall is just such an awkward size that we don't really know what else to do with it mouse has to like mud this but uh we were originally thinking of doing a gallery wall but i think it's i would just rather the shelves i think it'll look nice with some plants and some cookbooks and stuff so i'd like to maybe attempt that today but don't quote me on it we may not get to it then we have finally decided that we're going to do a gallery wall in here. I know a few people were worried that it would be a bit too busy, but this wall is just so big and awkward. And originally we thought maybe we could do the floating shelves in here, but I don't want them to like protrude out. Like I don't want anything to protrude out and take away from the bookcase, if that makes sense. So we're going to do a gallery wall here. Honestly, the ceilings are so tall and the room is just... It's, it's like a square that I'm not really worried about it looking smaller. And if it does, that's totally okay. Cause I would just rather it be homey and cozy and just have a gallery wall here. So also dogs were playing with their bones so hard this weekend that they made a dent in the drywall. So that's fun. I should have to putty that up. But anyways, we've kind of decided on some stuff, which is really, really exciting. All of my samples for swatching the office, which this will just come in handy for other spots in the house. We didn't have any white samples. I highly recommend these. They're like $4 at Home Depot. And now we have a big collection of like blues, whites, beiges, and it just comes into handy that you don't always, especially for us because we're like 45 minutes from Home Depot. We don't always have to go in the city when we want to swatch something. So we're building up our collection of paint samples, but these are all like whites and off whites for my office. And I just picked up this little guy of paint, which this is like so funny, but the girl forgot to scan it. Or she charged me for six of the she charged me for six of these instead because my receipt does not show this uh which is like i mean i'm okay with it but means our bathroom project will be a little bit cheaper because i would have to pay 25 bucks for this but i just got the like medium size paint for the bathroom and i ended up doing calligraphy which i can show you guys what it looks like because i swatched the bathroom we had a ton of like navy blue gray paint samples so i swatched them all and then picked the one i wanted and got it at home depot so it kind of just saved me from going to get the samples 
swatching them and then going back to get paint so that's that for all the paint swatches that we already had from when we were going to do matt's game room makeover and i ended up deciding on this one here this is calligraphy by bear it's coming off a lot more green on camera it's more of like a it's more blue gray on like in person it's coming off really green on camera but that's the one I ended up going with and this was a close second but I really liked this color especially for the space with the the tile so I'm hoping I'm hoping to get to that today if not maybe at least sanding it down I mean it's pretty worn anyway so shouldn't be too hard and the goal is to get to this today but I mean who knows the other stuff is a little bit more important I feel like it's not even that hard it's just that Matt is a perfectionist and likes to do these things like I don't think it's not that I'm not capable I can do this it's not even that hard the first thing we need to do is measure how far we want the rod to stick out on either side I feel like I need a ladder I feel like I can do it ow fucker okay how far do you get it to stick out maybe like eight inches okay we know how high it's gonna be we have the laser level out now I need to measure how far I want it from each side. So. Uh, okay. How are we doing this? grand reveal don't worry the chandelier is not staying in here either i think we're gonna put it in the dining room because i know it kind of blocks the curtains but i do think it really adds something to this wall when you come in the only thing is that the curtains i ordered are a bit too short so i just placed another ikea order for the longer ones i'm very proud of myself and i think it'll look so nice with a piece of art here and i do really think i want to paint this door so maybe we'll see if we have enough paint to do it today I'm having one of those days where my eyes just are never waking up do you know what i mean like i just look i just look a little sleepy today <laughs> but my hair is honestly fine i don't think i need to refresh it at all which is good and honestly since i'm doing stuff around the house i'll probably just put it up in a claw clip anyways but i did get a little bit ready for the day just to feel a bit put together even when i'm doing stuff around the house i just really like to throw on a quick little two minute makeup to just i don't know i get kind of like this burst of energy when i'm like okay like i feel good let's let's get shit done but curtains are up they look so good i'm really proud of myself i feel like we need to have a little pep talk moment because it can be intimidating and like i know this might sound silly to someone who maybe is like super handy but because Matt enjoys doing all this stuff, I've never really taken it upon my I never really taken it upon myself to do it because Matt loves doing stuff around the house. But I was actually watching an Exo McKenna video probably like a month or two ago. And she was talking about how, which if you guys don't follow her, she does a ton of like home renos and projects. And she really inspires me as a female to like just get shit done around the house and learn how to do it. And she was saying how she's come such a long way, like she's doing these whole house you know renovations now and she didn't even know how to use a drill a few years ago and it got me thinking and i quickly realized that how am i ever going to learn and be good at something if i don't try to do it i'm the kind of person who i don't like not knowing what i'm doing honestly i don't like not being good at things and so i just kind of put off learning how to do stuff around the house because I don't want to be bad at it and then i just i don't know i just something flipped in me where i was like i am literally never gonna learn if i don't just try it and matt will look stuff up on youtube all of the time and sometimes he messes up before he gets it right like plumbing or whatever it is really and i just i don't know i just had a moment this weekend where i was like you know what i want to gain some confidence and be able to do stuff myself and not have to not wait around but not have to feel like i have to wait for matt to do a project honestly i kind of want to try and tile the bathroom myself like i just want to learn these things and i don't know maybe this will inspire someone who i don't know maybe you have a curtain rod sitting around or something in your house you've been wanting to put up and you can totally do it there's so many tutorials on tiktok and youtube and anyways i feel really like motivated now and i swear it's like a domino effect where i do one home project and then i'm like i want to do everything in the house so i'm going to eat some breakfast because i had some toast earlier but now i'm like hungry hungry and then i actually just, just <laughs> this is what i do 
I make a to-do list of things I want to do and then I add random things that I want to do. I want to paint this door now in the dining room or what used to be the dining room. I really want to paint it. I want it to match the accent wall because why not? It's also just like gross and I don't like the blue color of it. So I thought that would also maybe add to that wall too if the door was like a pop of color and accent. So I think I'm going to do that. I forgot too. I'm really glad it's in my calendar but we have a roofer coming around lunchtime to um assess the chimney stack because basically what happened if you guys are somewhat new here i don't think i've even updated you guys we had a leak in our bathroom right at the beginning of winter so probably january i'd say and it we had a company come out it wasn't necessarily like a contractor like it was one of those companies like it was like all in one company where you like, a, like someone comes out to assess it but then they you know find the plumber and the roofer and all that stuff like all in one i don't know kind of company i guess and so we had one come out and they gave us a quote you know said that they would find us a roofer a contract all that stuff they came pretty highly recommended and it could have just been a one-off situation but we were like yep let's do it because winter's coming and then when spring comes and things melt we just we don't want to deal with a leak so like let's get it done now it, it's not a super expensive project but we need you know it's one of those projects where because we have water damage we need a contractor we need a roofer and then matt's going to do the rest himself like do the drywall and stuff the email because i was looking over the emails the other day he was like yeah we can start work in like two to four weeks so we waited the two weeks we hadn't heard anything we followed up he was like oh yeah like sorry like all the roofers are on vacation because it's winter and Matt and I were like, yeah, no worries. Like thinking that work would start in like, you know, maybe February. Um, but we like still haven't heard back from them. And because it's starting to get warm out and spring's coming, we just like really want to get this resolved. And it's basically, it's a two-part project. We really just need the chimney stack removed and that part of the roof refinished. And like then the leaking will stop. The actual gutting of the bathroom, like that can realistically like wait. Honestly, we're not like in a huge rush because we've taken everything out. It's going to be turned into a laundry room. We just really need the like source of the leakage to stop. I was like, Matt, like I know you've already been in contact with these people, but they're not replying quick enough. We haven't heard from them in weeks. Like I feel like they've ghosted us at this point. I picked a not great day to vlog lighting wise. The worst days to vlog are the days where the sun is peeking in and out of the clouds. Like it's either better if it's like really sunny or really cloudy because then my camera is just constantly flipping between cool and warm lighting and it drives me bonkers when I go to edit. Once again, that's like my perfectionist tendencies coming out. I cannot stand when the lighting changes. But anyway, so he's coming out at lunch to just assess it and give us a quote. I'm sure it'll be pretty quick. And yeah, like I said, really, we just need the roofing part taken care of. Matt has like completely gutted the bathroom. We just need to do the like rest, restorative, restorative water damage work. And that can like realistically be done in a few months. It's not like a huge deal. The bathroom's not even in use or anything. So that's also happening today. I hope this maybe inspired you to try a home project you've been wanting to do, or it can be anything. It doesn't even need to be like handy dandy related. It could just be like you've been wanting to try something new, but you don't like being new at something or not being perfect at something. This is your sign to do it because honestly, afterwards you feel really empowered. So yay for that. I kind of want a smoothie. So maybe we'll make a little, a little smoothie and keep this fun day going. My Amazon package just came with my curtains and then I figured I'd also bring the paint up and we could swatch that. I'm just waiting for the frozen fruit to thaw. Five of like the most popular whitish shades for us to try out. So we've got Smoky White by Bear. I think Greek Villa by Sherwin-Williams. Bit of Sugar by Bear. Alabaster, I think that's Benjamin Moore. And then also White Dove. I have all those we can swatch. And then I really wanted to do plaid curtains for in here just for like a touch of funness. I ended up sending me the wrong curtains. These are supposed to be gray ones and they're definitely like a taupe. Uh, so I just contacted them and they're going to send me the correct ones. I'm gonna send these back, but I guess we could try them out too. And then I have the black ones. I just, maybe the linen will honestly look nice. Who knows, but I'm gonna try both up. I'm gonna try one on each side and see what we think. However, the only issue is that we're going to have to use our imagination because the walls are indeed yellow in here. Actually, it's probably good timing to do some paint swatches now because the sun is out, like in and out of the room. So we'll get some good different kind of like lighting. I always write the names down in pencil so I know what color it is, obviously. Okay, that's Greek, Greek Villa. Is a smoky. 
gonna leave these to dry and we'll check in and see after. I was actually worried that they were all gonna be similar, but they're actually all really different. So I'm going to kind of wait a little bit, let them dry. I'm gonna also do it under the window as well and see what I think. I really so far like White Dove, which is the third one. And but I also really like smoky white, which is the fourth one. And then obviously the last one, Bit of Sugar, is like the most white white. But the other ones are definitely have different, the other ones definitely have different undertones. So, yay. You guys know I don't like sweet coffee, but this creamer is so good. And I don't even like dairy-free things. And this is just, it's so good. It's better than any dairy creamer, trust me. I just do like a little splash. I feel like it's the perfect sweetness. It's a little bit sweeter than a nut pod. I find a nut pod sometimes is like a little too not sweet like there's no flavor perfect amount of sweetness if you don't like sweet things like me so love the caramel one i hope they keep it on the permanent rotation because right now i think they just do vanilla and hazelnut so yummy like i said i already had some toast so i'm just having a little yogurt bowl i'm so happy that fresh fruit is on sale again and not seven dollars okay you guys i'm in a really good mood because the roofer just came and we've had a few roofers come out now because i highly recommend getting multiple quotes for things we definitely oversaved for this project which means we can just put that money towards something else makes me so happy i try to call matt but he's in a meeting and like i said the roof is the main priority the contracting part can come in a few months but i'm super happy about that he said he could come at the end of this week because he was like when do you want it done and this is like a pretty slow season for roofers they typically only kind of start back up in march so uh he was like i have availability now since it's like somewhat well it's gonna be warm later this week so I'm just in a really good mood because of that. Yay for that project being a lot less money than we thought. A little bit. Oh my gosh, what's with all the packages? Okay, that was just our HelloFresh, but he just wanted to like hand deliver it to me, which was kind of sweet. So anyways, we're back. But overall, I'm in a really good mood. I can't wait to tell Matt. And the day is still young now. It's not even noon. He came like super early too, which I just love. I love that. I mean, he said between 11 and 12, but I feel like with like contractors in those companies, you always just guess that they're gonna come at like 11:59 at the end of the window but he was here really nice and early which is great and he was here for like five minutes and he was chatting with our <laughs> neighbor every time someone comes to our house for like a quote estimate i swear our neighbors like on both all three sides know everyone because they've lived here their whole life so i thought that was funny that yeah our neighbor was chatting with the roofer so anyways i'm feeling really really good i'm trying to decide what i want to do next i think i might try and bundle up and take the dogs for a walk it's really windy out though so i'm not too sure i also need to decide what i want to do at the gym today i think i might do a full body workout dogs are staring at me like bitch take me for a walk right now so i think i'm gonna do that i don't even know why i made an iced coffee today because it's literally so cold out i also actually maybe will put tape up with the where i want the floating shelves to go like the height and play around with that i think that's actually what we're gonna do today we're gonna i love using green tape to kind of figure out where i want floating shelves we can also maybe do that in my office too because i'm trying to figure out how i want to do the shelves in my office but that could actually be, I'm gonna change my to-do list item to just green taping where we want them to go height-wise. So yeah, I've been putting off going for a walk all morning because my headphones are dead and I've known that since yesterday, but I didn't even charge them. So they're still dead. So I love that for me. I really wanted to maybe listen to a podcast. I could maybe just charge them right now. I don't even know where my AirPods are. I only know where my, like my Maxes are right here. I need to find my AirPods, like my little ones. Anyways, I'm just rambling at this point, but I hope you guys are enjoying the little productive day at home. Okay. This side, like, height-wise. Okay. This is literally how I do it, because I want it to be tall enough to have a plant, so that's perfect. That will fit. And then I also want it to be tall enough for this, and then this would fit too, okay. I actually think these are going to look really good. I was scared they were going to protrude out a little too much with the hutch, and they don't. Is this too low for one? Like, should I do one here instead? Hmm. Just Googled it and the rule of thumb is 12 to 18 inches. So I think we're good. Yeah, we have 15. So I feel like that's a good amount of space. Okay, I think this is good because I also didn't want them to be so low that any plant on the table cuts them off. My phone because my camera doesn't really pick up well with like the window, which I don't blame it because there's a lot of light coming through, but I just taped well most of the window. As you can tell, uh, there's like some white paint and stuff on it already. So I figured I could just use a fresh coat of paint regardless. 
I'm really excited about it. And I have the paint here. If anyone is interested in what paint it is, Sherwin Williams Iron Ore. It's the color on this accent wall. And then the color on our ceiling as well. Curtains to see which ones I liked. I love the checker print, but they sent me the wrong ones. These are supposed to be gray, like a black and a gray. And these are a taupe. And I don't really, I don't know. So anyways, I'm trying to see which ones I like. Oh wow, look, my neighbor has a huge tree on his roof from all that wind this morning. Here's what the paint swatches look like when they're dry. Don't mind this brown one. This is the color of our hutch. And at first I was like, wait, I can paint the room like a nice beige color. But that's obviously way too dark in here. I really have to say I love White Dove. I think Bit of Sugar is too white. I think Greek Villa is a little too yellow. I think White Dove looks really good in here. So I think that's the one I'm leaning towards. What do the paint swatches look like here? Greek or Greek Dove. White Dove being the one in the middle. I really like it, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I feel like Greek Villa looks better on this side, which is the first one. So I'm not too sure yet. Not that these moments go to show. Now what's, what makes it more interesting is that when they get- We're not coming outside right now, okay? Right? Just I'm like just painting. Turn down the robot. Exactly. Yeah. But it, it, I think it's interesting that in moments like this, when oh, this Oscar Biastri. Yes. <laughs> Okay, you guys, here's my hodgepodge lunch. I feel like I always just kind of eat whatever is in the fridge. So for example, we have chicken nuggets with buffalo sauce, and then I put some on the sandwich. I just made too many chicken nuggets, so I have some on the side. A random leftover meatball that we have from dinner, just one leftover salad, and then some carrots. So that's my lunch, and then I'm gonna do a third coat of paint. I also swatched those four colors in here because I'm pretty sure when they put the shiplap on, this is just like not painted shiplap. And I ended up patching up a ton of holes that are in here as well. So I'm trying to decide which one I like. I think we're gonna end up doing a bit of sugar or something that's just white in here because we're gonna have so many accent colors. I think the chandelier is gonna go because we don't really ever use this light. I literally only found out yesterday that it works. Like I had no idea this even worked. Uh, but we just never use it. So I think we're going to take it down, but leave the circular thing, whatever this is called, because I really like it. It's just that this chandelier is pretty low and Matt and I are both like 5'11". And so I always hit myself when I'm coming out of the shower, like my towel. So anyways, I do really love the ceiling color though. I really want to figure out what it is. Like the white in here, especially since we do have the wood and other elements. So I think we're going to leave it white. You just enjoying a little sun puddle, Lila girl? You want a little sun puddle? Everybody's enjoying sun puddles. Here's the door. I actually love it. I think it makes the room, like I think the door pops a bit more so it kind of adds something to the room. Whereas before it was like this really like ugly light blue color. So I feel like this kind of helps add something to the wall honestly and then with like a nice piece of art here, I think it'll look really good. So I'm honestly really happy with that spontaneous decision put the command hooks behind the tv if you can see it it's obviously not a perfect fix but it's better than them dangling here and I, what are you going to be doing to this demo line oh so that isn't yeah you're gonna put a switch like here mm -hmm. but i think if we put a plant here like a nice <sighs> other philodendron or mon uh, not monstera if we put a if we put a pothos right here and it hangs down a little bit, I think that will be really pretty. And then you won't see this. And then on this side, I actually ordered a second cordless lamp because I loved it so much. Uh, so I actually need to unbox that. I, yeah, we literally have two of them now. But to be fair, it's really practical. I'm gonna put that. There's a plant here for now. We'll hide the cords. Wow, the sun is coming in hot at 5 p.m. <laughs> still half asleep even though it's like almost nine o'clock i just finished up rounds on thursday i start work at seven and then i'm done at three which is really really nice but i like to be ready for the day so i did my hair last night before bed 
threw it up in a scrunchie and it just it's such a game changer so you don't have to do your hair in the morning and then i just i mean i do like a little two minute makeup this is just literally mascara eyebrow stuff and some concealer under my eyeballs because i look so tired i've been really struggling to adjust my sleep since daylight savings i don't know why i just i just can't sleep so that's fun but welcome to day two of this vlog it was going to be a one day vlog originally but i feel like we just didn't really do enough not that you have to do a ton in a day i just mean i feel like the vlog wasn't filled with enough fun things so here we are i am sleepy i for sure need a second coffee today no doubt about it and what is going on i'm trying to think um oh i haven't even told you guys but you guys saw me build it but okay little story time with carter i have been wanting this uh unfinished wood dresser from ikea because i really want to not flip it but give it like a little makeover make it look kind of like a bit more antique because the thing is is i love finding furniture on facebook marketplace but because we both have cars it just like never ends up working out antique dressers are usually listed for like three four hundred dollars and then it's just the like time component of driving to the city getting a u-haul getting the furniture driving back here driving back to the city to drop off the u-haul getting our car and driving home it's gonna make a three four hour like it's gonna take up half your day and i'm sure for the right piece we would do it but i just haven't found anything i'm in love with yet and i've mentioned this before how i really want a dresser in my office just for like the background of my you know teams and zoom calls like it just looks a little bit nicer and also uh i think it would be really really better <laughs> not good english carter it would be better storage that's like hidden away like you just wouldn't see it it wouldn't be as cluttered i'm all for practicality when it comes to an office but i also just want it to look nice like i'm not really like it doesn't need to be like super aesthetic but i i want it to be practical but i also just want it to look presentable and i think when we moved to this house my mindset just kind of shifted of i want this house to just like feel like a home and i know it's going to take time to put it together but anyways all this to say i really wanted a desk in my office desk oh my gosh i'm not awake yet i wanted dresser in my office i wanted this one from ikea i believe it's called uh, i think the tarva or the tarka six drawer unfinished wood dresser so you can stain it however you want and it got discontinued i'm pretty sure because it's not on their site anymore i was super bummed i couldn't find anything like similar for the price point on tuesday when i was out doing my thrifting little afternoon I also was like you know what i'm in the area let's just go to ikea because you know i had a lot of curtains to return from the library that have just been like sitting in the trunk of my car because ikea for most people in ottawa unless you live in the like canada area is very out of the way so i was like you know what while i'm here i'm gonna get it over with you know i'm gonna get some money back it's gonna be great and matt wanted me to pick up something anyways i was like walking through and i always walk through the the back like i go from the caches instead of starting at the front i start from the caches and i go through the as is section first i always go through the return section and i saw a ton of dressers being put out on clearance and i didn't even see what color it was i was just like oh my gosh i should get it because i need a dresser i can always paint it and then i realized it was the dresser that got discontinued i'm so excited i think i got it for like 129 dollars which is like over 50% off for sure. I didn't even know if it would fit in my car, but I bought it. And I was like, I'm determined to make this fit in my car. If I have to drive an hour home with my four ways on and the roof open, like I'll do it or the trunk, which I obviously actually wouldn't do, but you know what I mean? So excited. And now that, listen, I've used the drill once. I am like a drill bitch. I am like, mm -mm -mm. except I am recently learning that an impact drill and a regular drill are different. Impact drill is very powerful. So I was using the impact drill by accident, but I mean, still we're, we're learning every day. So that's what I put together yesterday. And now my office is an actual nightmare and we need to tidy that up. So I'm hoping to do that hopefully after work or maybe on my lunch break. I don't know, who knows, but that's super exciting. This is definitely like a more home focused, productive vlog. Also our focus in life right now too. I'll share that with you guys. And then I will also just maybe tidy up in there. It is still unfinished. And I do highly recommend if you know what wood stain you're gonna do, stain it or paint it before you assemble it however because i didn't know what stain i wanted to do i'm going to leave it unfinished for a little bit and then decide and then we'll kind of do like a little flip makeover project together but i do highly recommend if you know what stain you want to do to just do it before you assemble it it makes it 10 times easier set some productive days have like a huge list and i just pick random things to get done and then some days like today i'm like if i just get my office tidied up i will be totally content and I think this vlog is going to go up tomorrow, which is super exciting. Yeah, I've also been like on a huge reading roll. I think it's just because it's nice out. I feel like my balance this week with 
taking care of myself and also getting things done around the house has been really really good so i'm really proud of myself for that i got my workouts in i'm honestly feeling like a new human truthfully it's probably just like spring like i am a flower i am coming from the ground of depression and i'm rising up and life is good you know but it's gloomy today but it's warm so that's all that really matters stay on the floating shelves too because i wanted to put them up in this video because i've already edited up until this point and i wanted to put them up but matt wanted to mud it first obviously because then like we would have had to take the shelves down for him to mud it so it just made sense for him to mud it so he has well i'll show you guys in a sec he's mudded the hole where the thermostat was and we just want to make sure it's done right because the previous owners mudded and like use like this kind of like waffle knit when you mud and they didn't put anything on top so there's like random pieces of like waffle in our walls drives me bonkers now it's ready to paint but the issue that we're running into is i'm out of this paint i used up the can that the previous owners left us to touch it up for like i think it was like around christmas i touched up the whole main floor it's all the same color i think this is mushroom mousse by i don't know who sherwin williams maybe i feel like that's what they used a lot it's at home depot like i need to get it color matched and i'm just like i'm just like a little ready to have my car back again i kind of miss it uh so i need to do that so we'll probably put the shelves up this weekend it'll be in another vlog don't worry you guys won't miss it but we're gonna do that this weekend can't paint the vanity until this weekend because i need to go pick up primer and then i also need to pick up like a 400 grit sandpaper uh to sand between layers like when you're painting cabinets it's really important to paint let it dry and then do like a really really fine sand in between layers to ensure it goes on really smooth so i don't have any 400 grit i have 200 grit but i don't have 400 and yeah so when i'm getting coffee with my mom on saturday i'll have to stop at home depot. i feel like i stop at home depot all the time which is why i like going into the city more than my mom coming out here because i just end up waiting until the like saturday to go run all my errands happy thursday i also need to go find my rings okay i'm not too sure if you guys can tell because this wall is pretty white like the paint oh you can actually tell it's like right here can you guys see the mudding maybe if i get closer you can see it oh yeah there you go so this is like the second layer and as you can see like underneath this is like waffle but you can't see it because we mudded it so matt just needs to sand this down make it smooth and then i'm just going to do a coat of paint because it kind of just needs it anyways we've got like some darker spots here so this wall could use a touch up so could the other wall all right you guys here is the grand reveal well not of the office just of the dresser and we're going to disregard the one that i messed up by like an inch doesn't bother me but it bothers matt so anyways yeah really happy with it perfect size like literally so perfect for the space and just so much storage these drawers are so big I have just like i've just been putting some stuff in it just to get out of the way for now but these are such big drawers so i highly recommend it. it's not available online but if you go to my ikea store they should have them out near the caches but we have to organize all this stuff which i feel like i just did and then i actually just hung up some screws on the wall for now to get these bags off of the back of my door because they were really wow you can tell how yellow this room is in this lighting um to just get them off the back of the door because you know when you have bags on your door and you can't really like open it all the way that's kind of what was happening it actually works really really well to have them hanging here it's kind of like out of the way as well i'd love to get some kind of like little door here so anyways i guess the plan is to do i just like take everything out of these drawers and kind of start from scratch hmm sun has come out it's so nice honestly here's what she looks like this is the mirror that i thrifted in my thrifting video the other day obviously i know this lamp is very tiny and i need to like put some height to it 
with some books or something but for now i just it's just here i don't even honestly know if it's gonna stay here i might put it in the library we'll see or like beside my desk i actually think wait same thing definitely need to add some books to it for some height i actually don't know how i feel about that with the wood here but that's actually a little bit better maybe i'll paint this gold or something i know that could be kind of fun but yeah for now the mirror is going to be here it's going to go in the bathroom though when we renovate but i wanted to kind of get an idea of how I liked having, you know, like a big mirror here, maybe having a print here or something. And most of the drawers are pretty organized now, which is awesome. So this one just has like all of my electronics in it, cameras and stuff. I just like how big these drawers are. I'm really, really impressed with the quality, truthfully, for like a hundred and something bucks Canadian from Ikea. I want them to accumulate a lot of dust. This one doesn't really have much in it right now. This drawer just has like a bunch of like restock items of mine. This one's pretty random. These are extra pins that waiting for us to get another pin board to put up. I've got a bunch of notebooks in here, binders. It's just these drawers are so big. I can fit so much in my office and it just helps keep it, keep the clutter at bay. This drawer has that quilt in it. And then this bottom one just has all of the Ikea stuff for now, like the knobs for when I sand it and finish it. I also think I'm going to bring out the top. I just feel like that looks a lot nicer when the top comes out a little bit to the sides and out this way. So I definitely think I'm gonna do a new top on this once we refinish it, but super happy with that. And it literally took me like 20 minutes. Currently making a giant pancake because we don't really have any groceries, honestly and I can't go get any groceries. So we're making do with some random Kodiak cakes I found. I'm gonna put some of my favorite little Nutella spread. I have some fruit cut up. Fruit is finally on sale again because it's not the dead of winter, so that's great. I just did like one ginormous pancake and I've been craving the Nutella waffle from Sleepy Hollow at Magic Kingdom. I've just been craving it. So I thought that this would be like a yummy I mean, obviously I should have made a waffle, but I didn't. I don't even know if we have a waffle maker, truthfully. This looks so good. I find that this tastes the most like Nutella because it's made with stevia. And I find anything with stevia is pretty similar tasting to like real sugar in my, in my opinion, at least. Doesn't that look so yummy? Yum. Thank you. 